Deimos was shocked by the amount of bandits roaming the lands around the hub. It seemed like every group of people they met outside of town's walls was about some nefarious business. Humans, shack, hivers, even skeletons joined the ranks of many bandit bands, most because they had nothing. No food, no cats, no roof above their heads. And the longer they stayed at the hub, the more he understood their plight. His team had almost no food left and no way to get more. It seemed like wildlife has all but disappeared around here, all but the ravenous bone dogs. Nothing to hunt, no arable land to farm, just dust and sand. Their new recruit Simo told them about greener valleys to the north. Unfortunately, those were controlled by the Holy Nation, a place where Shaq and Hivers were no more welcome than skeletons. But it might have been the only place left around to get food. Besides, the noxious swamps to the south, of course. But Damus wasn't quite ready to brave that treacherous place yet. The decision was made. They're going to Ocran's Valley. Hey guys, I'm Kyoko. Welcome back to Kenshi, 20 Ronin. Welcome back, boys. Our group is, well, not quite on the edge of starvation yet, but uh, we're not doing that good. We have one raw piece of meat, 50 nutrition. Not that good, is it? I also got some new boots for uh, Simo. Uh, it was just hanging out in the that tower of the thieves out there. Also, I've been training strength on everybody, so now we have 32 on Deimos, 27 on Harem, 26 on Jack, 20 on Glint, 29 on Samayo, and 14 on Simo. So everybody can actually haul all of their inventory that they have. So, the decision for today was to go into more fertile lands up to the north and see if you could find some food out there, even though... We all know it's going to be a dangerous place to be. Who's fighting out here? Drifters? And hill marauders? Uh, we'll help the drifters for sure. Don't really want no hill marauders causing issues out here. And these guys have uh, cool weapons and shit. Oh, you hill marauder. Oh, who needs help? Hello, Needles the Drifter. How's it going, buddy? Who the fuck are you, he says. Actually, you know what? I don't give a fuck who you are. You see how this is gonna work, Scrub? You're gonna get a fuck out of my face before I take this here knife and gut you in the spot. Wow! What a nice guy! Did you just try to help you and this is how you do it? Alright. Well, so this hill marauder has nothing useful. Poor, poor guy. Alright. Continue. We're gonna go out to... The more fertile lands, as I said, and hope we can find some food, either hunt it or potentially steal it from those guys. Looks like there were some slavers taking slaves over here. Well, that's not fine. That's 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 really not good, slavers. I, I don't appreciate that. So, hoping that maybe these lands up here is going to have some food, we have to realize that we have two hivers and two shack and... Well, the Holy Nation is just a bunch of races. They're not going to appreciate us bringing more people out there. So, hey. Now, if you can find some wolves or anything like that, you can fight wolves and uh, get some food off of them. But the problem is, there's a good chance that the wolves will fight and win against us. So, that is a bit of a problem as well. So, I'm hoping maybe finding some weakened bulls or something like that. Maybe bring some animals towards the gates of one of the towns or something like that and then hopefully do something about it i don't know we'll see but we have to find some food otherwise harm is going to start starving we could cook this meat just for him or some mayo but we'll see in any way let's let's go onwards now what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave all these guys on stealth over here and i'm just gonna send in Damus. Of course, the Holy Nation doesn't really like uh, um, Scorchlanders, you know, but they do tolerate them. They're not as good as Greenlanders, but they are still human, and he's a male, so this is fine. Of course, we could have sent Simo in there, but Simo doesn't really have any stealth skills. So, hey, I'm just gonna start with this, and the boys are back there, and hopefully, no patrol 
comes near them. Although I do see there's a bunch of holy boys out there. Oh man, this is this is a dangerous place to be. But sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do to try and get some food. Because food is the biggest issue now that we are adding more people. That is the biggest problem. Because you have to just keep on feeding them. Hello, my holy friends. Yeah. I'll just, uh, just go in. Don't you worry about that. There's their barracks. An armory. Those are all things we could go in. Because, you know, you can see, it tells you you're not allowed to go in. Which means that's an invitation for us to go in there and steal from them. Mechanical shop. Gardening store. Clothes shop. We can't steal from normal things. We can steal from a temple. Let's go into a temple. I don't know if they have any food or anything like that. I never tried stealing from a temple before, I don't think. So, we're gonna pop in there. We can actually speak to one of these? All of these? What is he gonna say? Divine blessings, brother. Okran's light shines brightly today. A good omen. Um, you know what? <laughs> Don't say the three. We're just gonna say sorry, gotta go. I have to go to the temple to pray to... Nar I mean, Okran. Well, there's actually a bunch of people over here. Hi, Paladin Martius, Holy Servant. Holy Servant, Holy Priest. And they have armor plating in here. Interesting. Well, we could use the holy flame just because, but that's fine. Why do you have armor and steel and such lying around? And no food! Bunch of letters and books. That I do understand, but hey. Um, I'll take the tools. They are conveniently placed right next to this chest. But you don't need tools to open this chest. Come on, dude. You can do better than that. Tell me there's gonna be some food for the... For the warriors or something like that. Let's go. 104%. We got food. Or we'll even... Let me save before we take uh, the money. We'll take the money. Monk robe? I don't think we need that. We could steal their pearl yearns. Yearns? Urns. For the ashes of your loved ones or your enemies. I don't know. Uh, we did say we're not going to steal for profit, so we're not going to do that. We can steal the holy flame just to, you know, be able to show it if anybody asks, but uh, that's fine. Uh, no, keep on being stealthy, dude. I don't want anybody seeing you. Alright, we're good. We got some bread, that's important. Nothing interesting in here. Some bowls over there. Okay, let's hide back here. I love stealing from a temple. Those are the best. Good thing they have some money. No more food, but we got some bread which we can bring to our friends outside. Let's enter their armory. Armory is probably not gonna have any food, but let's enter it. It's empty. It's got food. Is it truly empty? I think it. No, it's not. There's a man over here. He's looking in the wrong direction, and we have a 98% chance to knock him out. Good. Let's close the doors. Okay. We're not gonna steal his stuff. Okay, doors. Stop it. Holy Sentinel. He's gonna be unconscious for a while. It should be good enough for us to get, grab some dried fish, meat wrap. Cooked green fruit, dried fish. Let's go. More cooked green fruit. More dried meat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now we talking, boys. Now we talking. Mm. Okay, that's about it. But we can still loot more of the stuff. Let's go check it out. Oh, look at all that stuff we got. Oh, that's so good. Let's put it in our backpack. I think we, we got over here. A good thing their armory has food. That's shoddy. That's also shoddy. Do we need a... No, we're good. You have a black and chain shirt. Okay. Don't need no shirts right now. Well, for our new recruit, whoever that's gonna be. We're gonna need something like that, but... We're gonna cross that bridge when we get there, maybe. Ooh! A druid helm! Okay, I gotta take that just to see how it looks. Because that's that's one of the mods that I have. All right, let's let's put that on. Ah, <laughs> look at that! Isn't that awesome? 
Okay, that's awesome. I love that helmet. We're taking that for sure. Uh, let's, uh, did we open this one? I think we did, yeah. Okay, let's pop this one open. How long before he wakes up? 72. Still plenty of time. First class, Paladin Cross and Combat Cleaver. Uh, that's okay. That's okay. Is there anything we can take over here? No. Luckily for us, still nobody has popped inside. Nomad Pants will take. Because that's going to make us run faster. Our Some of our slower com uh, companions will need that. Let's take that. Grog, you guys can keep. I, I could bring some Grog for uh, Haram, actually. Yeah, Haram will want that Grog. And Simo, probably, as well. But they can share it. Maybe. Okay. Let's pop open some of these ones. And let's see what we can find. He's still unconscious, which is great. Uh, good. Double high-grade Nomad Pens. We'll take that from you. Um... Who can we give this to? I like these ninja pens, but right now we'll probably give that to them. Uh, double is going to be good enough. So two is going to be good enough, which means I'm going to give you that one back. And let's take the ladder turtleneck. Sure. It's a, it's a good shirt. Turtlenecks are good. Okay, let's see if we can find some more before the man wakes up and he's like, what is going on? Oh, there's his friend as well over there. Gotta be careful now. Third class club. Nothing too interesting. Prototype. Nothing in there. That one is probably gonna be the toughest to crack open. Gotta be careful where we stand over here. We could knock that guy out, but... It's okay. Okay. These ones are also locked. I mean, whenever we are done, we can just run out. We don't even need to try knocking him out. We were lucky that when we got in, that guy was looking the other direction. I don't know what he was doing. He was probably... I don't know. Uh, let's not assume what he was doing. I don't need these weapons. Let's cross over here before we get seen. Okay, nothing really interesting over here. That one we already opened. Let's go back into this corner before we are seen. Okay, it's good. It's all good. Let's see if we can uh, open up this bad boy. 35 lock picking Should be done in no time. Let's speed it up. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. There you go. Okay, we have some holding chest blade, chain shirts, and a bunch of research that would be otherwise great. But for us, it's not that important. He's not committing crime right now, which is great. Is there anything up here that we'd want? No. Just a holy sentinel. Okay. Which means we're gonna slowly run outside. Kira stood in stunned silence. She wanted to yell for the sentinels, but the scream died in her throat. The sneaky Scorchlander man she has been watching for the last hour has sneaked in and out of, first, the Holy Temple, and then the Armory. She knew what he was about, but still found it hard to believe the courage of that man. The reason she hasn't called the Sentinels yet was simple. It seemed like the man deliberately chose his targets to be official Holy Nation buildings. He could have easily stolen from any of the shops that weren't at all guarded, but no. He took from the Ocranites, and she couldn't blame him for that. As he exited the armory, he stopped in a side alley to secretly pass a piece of bread to an old man. She knew then that was a man worth following. As if summoned, he raised his head then and saw her watching him. She waved him up, and his eyes narrowed in suspicion. It was time they had a talk. Everybody, I would like you all to welcome our new recruit, Kira the Scared. She had uh, issues with her body since her birth, and uh, she has been slightly disabled, feeling numbness and all kinds of stuff, and because of that, people made fun of her. But she is true at heart and a very kind soul, and Damus decided to take her in, just because she might have uh, spotted him doing some uh, nasty thievery out there. and. Hey, maybe it was, maybe it was, maybe it wasn't a bit of a persuasion from her 
part, but now she's in here. She's part of the group. And uh, let's welcome her. Do we have a thing for her that she could equip? Yes, we do. Let's, uh, let's get rid of these pants. Let's get uh, rid of that sword. Let's give her some nomad pants and a proper shirt. Oh no, we <laughs> have the droid helm. Kira, you get the droid helm for now. Do we have... Actually, we're gonna have extra stuff. That's fine. Do we have... A weapon for her that we could get her. Uh, excuse me, didn't I give you a druid helm? <gasps> does it not show on a female? It does not show on a female. Oh, uh, well, now you're saved. We're gonna save that. Maybe we'll give that druid helm to Haram. He sounds like a perfect man for it. Now, let's, uh, let's get out of here, Kira. And, of course, our boy Damus. And, uh, yeah, let's... Let's go back to the boys, bring them food, and then we'll probably leave the Holy Lands, because the Holy Lands are dangerous, after all. At least for most, most of our group, right? We don't really want to be here. Just the way it is, but we need to equip her with some proper stuff. I am sad that that Druid Helm doesn't show on her head. But on the other hand, <laughs> it's probably for the best, isn't it? Now, what kind of weapon are we going to give her? Somebody's secondary. I wonder if Glint needs a secondary katana. Maybe that Fuma Shuriken's good enough. I think Samayo does need a secondary. I think the Moonsicle is one-handed weapon, but I'm not 100% sure. I do know, actually, that Kira wanted to wield a polearm, while Sima wanted to wield a katana, I think, if I remember correctly. So, I guess we could give her a polearm, although I doubt she would be able to carry anything. Yeah, should be very slow, most likely. I forgot to sell this. Well, I guess we're gonna just throw it away. That's fine. That's okay. Let's go to the boys, and let's uh, let's make the boys happy with the fact that we got some food and any recruits. Say hello to Kira, friends. How do you do? All right, Harem. Give her the boots. Give her. Let's give her a ninja mask. There you go. Kira, sorry we don't have a chest for you right now, just the way it is, but we're gonna give you this uh, pole arm. She can still use it, she can still run with it. Alright, she doesn't have a secondary, but uh, it's a start. I do also know that she wanted to have more heavy weapons, but that's okay. Okay, we gotta give this to somebody. And I think uh, the best person to use this would be Harem. There's just no way about it. No other way around it. Harem is just the best to have this. <laughs> oh my god. This is so good. It's such an awesome helmet. Does it have any protection? It does have some protection. It's heavy armor, apparently. Gives you dodge and dexterity, melee attack, defense, martial arts, and perception bonus. Very perceptive. But now he doesn't have any dust storm protection. I guess we can give this to Kira instead. I know it's just shoddy. But it gives you proper uh, dust storm protection. So up ahead we have some holy mines. I was thinking of maybe trying to steal something from them. Maybe they have some food or something like that for us that we could take. You know, they're slavers. And you know, we also wanted to get dogs, but that's way too many dogs. They would they would destroy us. Dogs are dogs are strong. Let's not do that. Mm, we'll hide behind this rock over here. Because we really need food. That green fruit and all that stuff is not going to last us for any time, really, at all. Let's hide back here and let's send Damus in there. We have discovered bad teeth. A lot of these holy servants are going out there, which I appreciate. Hello, slaves. Bring bad. We could save some slaves. Although I do not want them to join us. Definitely not something I want. Let's see if they're going to let us pass over here. Go on through. Thank you. Thank you. I'm totally not here to steal from you. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. It wasn't me. Is he still looking at me? He's still looking at me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm out, dude. Stop following me. What is wrong with you? 
You can buy a shack in here? I had no idea. Okay, he's he's not following me now. Who sees me? He can't possibly see me. He can't possibly see me. What? Okay, you are a magician. I'll, I'll have you know. You are a magician indeed. But... There ain't nobody in here, is there? Do you have food? Raw meat, okay. I think they're raw meat. They gotta have some food around here. For the sentinels, of course. Not for the poor slaves. The slaves don't really get any food. They get a bit of food, but... Not much. Although, truth be told, if we steal from these slavers now, that might mean that the poor slaves will not get anything to eat. Because, you know, slavers without any food, they'll probably first try to eat their food themselves and not give it to slaves. But that's beautiful. 74% only, though. Which means there's probably somebody on the roof. Let's uh, open this bad boy up as well. There's some raw meat over there. Good, good, good. Take that. Okay, that one is crappy, but there's some emperor statues. Definitely important stuff. Okay, let's go up on the roof and see if we can uh, pop anybody that might be up here. No, why do we then only have 74? Is there... Who is out here? Huh. Okay, well, let's get back here then and close the doors. Let's close the doors, dude, and that should uh, be easier. Yeah, there we go. Um, let me save before we take the monies. Books we, we're not gonna take, but oof, food cubes is great find for us. We could steal their pearl oasis and urns and sword holders, but nah, it's all good. Don't really need that. We have some water over there. Let's see if there's anything in these barrels. Uh, we can't even click them. They're non-clickable barrels. Okay. The roof over here is a bit weird. With these things in the air and such. But that's okay. Well, we got some raw meat. We got some food cubes. Food cubes are great fine because they have uh, uh, a lot higher nutrition. 75% actually. That's great. Slave shop. Hello, I'm just here to buy your slaves. Not steal your food that you might have up on the roof. They have just fabrics and cups. Nothing in the barrels. Alright, alright. They probably don't have food in this here place. And they don't actually sell slaves. They just want slaves. Actually, he doesn't even want to buy them. Alright, never mind. Now... Oh, Leela. Let's cause uh, let's cause a commotion. Let's see if we can get Leela to pull out these guys as well. Well, that's a bit of a problem because they saw us and uh, now they know we're here. Uh, let me take your raw meat quickly. Uh, you guys need to depart up on the hill, if you could. Let's go just this way. They must be an evil thief. Hope that you can get out without getting hit in the legs, and then you're good. Okay, you can outrun these guys, no trouble. There's a bunch of Holy Nation boys over here that uh, are going to probably try to do bad things to us, but that's okay. You guys up on the hill? Good. Keep on going that direction. Damus is gonna send them close to the wolves is they, if they want to follow him. I'm sorry. Didn't want to do that, holy nation. Totally did not want to do that. Who's running out there? A slaver. Okay, dogs, where are you? Where did we see the dogs? Wasn't it up here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. You guys, just hold. Don't try to come help Damus. Hello, wolves. How do you do? How do you do, fellow wolves? There you go. 
They're already fighting. Take down some wolves. Thieving recreant. What the hell is that? What does that mean? Somebody help me there. <laughs> the wolves are actually going to destroy the Holy Nation, man. I was hoping Holy Nation men would actually kill some wolves so we could take their meat. But... <laughs> no such luck. This one has a bounty. We could bring him back to the Holy Nation outlaws. After the fact, but... I don't think we'll be able to get back to him. With all these wolves on our heels. We've been running around the desert the whole night and the whole morning and... Couldn't find a single person to fight. After the last episode where we fought so many bandits and such, it's just hilarious that there's, there's nobody around now. No hungry bandits, no dust bandits, no triangle bandits, no nothing. Oh well. So, uh, I was thinking... Hey, don't, don't say such things to me, Zula. I was thinking, uh, since we are next to the hub, uh, and we now have one set of tools, I'm gonna go and see if we can open one of the uh, one of the safes up here that are tougher to open, and hopefully we can get something out of it. Also, I given uh, uh, Samayo the Ninja Rex in her uh, backpack, so whenever Kira needs it, we can give it to her. Uh, but for now, it's just being carried because she doesn't have the strength. She's at least getting some speed because we are just running so much, you know. Uh, that that definitely helps. Let's go up here. <laughs> We're gonna get Kira, because she has no skills. We're gonna get her training over here. You train on that. Sima, how's your skills? Yeah, you could you could do with some training here as well. There you go. Jack, go back to assassination. Uh, Samayo, who's Glint? Glint, go on lock picking. Samayo, go on lock picking. Harem, just be an absolute boss over here. And guard everybody or something. And Davis. Let's see if you can take something from them. Because uh, Shinobi Thieves have become one of the favorite places where you can steal from. Oh, there's some rum. We could give that rum to somebody. Marksman's Leather Coat. It's four kilos only. That might be what Kira needs. And also, this thing might be what Kira needs. Let's go trade with her. I know that uniform was a uh, better grade, but uh, yeah, at least this this is in fact uniform, and it shouldn't slow her down too much. Which means at this point, Samayo, let's get rid of that. Good stuff. Okay, we got tools. We got tools. Let's um, let's go upstairs. Poor Shinobi, they, they probably have no idea what's happening to all of their food and such they have. Okay, okay. Uh, we'll, we'll give you this back and we'll definitely take the assassin's rags just for reasons. Haram, you carried them. I said Haram, you carried them. There you go. We can, we can use that for somebody else, maybe. Potentially. Alright. Food, let's go. Perfect, perfect. Meat wraps, I love them. Nothing in there. Hashish over here. Those two are closed. Zero, 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 zero. Well, if you give me zeros and all of them, I'm gonna go use tools on this one. It's gonna take a year and a half, but let's try it. Here we go, boys. It's almost done and it's down. Shackles broken. We have kimonos and we have swamp ninja mask and some hashish. I hate how these kimonos look. <laughs> so I don't think we're gonna be taking them, but they are they are very powerful. Uh, just to show you how they look, I'm gonna give one to Kira. Kira, who I actually gave the assassin rags to now, and uh, we'll definitely actually be taking the swamp ninja mask though. I do like that one. But now we broke our only tools and we can't really do much else. Okay. So. Look at her. Yeah. <laughs> it looks ridiculous. And the way the way you run with this thing. It's also ridiculous. I like the boots. I like the boots. But uh, the kimonos. I don't know. You know why? 
you know what? You guys are probably gonna enjoy if you keep wearing this. So just for your sake, just for your sake, I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna keep that kimono on Kira. I'm definitely not gonna give her the other kimono. Which is... Yeah, this color. Oh, look at that. Bunch of triangle bandits. That's the camp we hit a couple of days ago. Where we were fighting them. Way out here, just as we recruited uh, Samayo. It's the same camp, and they are here. Oh, this is good. How many of them are here? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Of course, too many for us to take. But if you can grab them once again, just one by one, that'd be great. It's gonna be a problem, because this time around, we don't have a ranged person to do it. Wow, Kira, what's the bonus on this? Plus eight to melee attack and defense. Wow. Talk about overpowered. <laughs> Uh, fair enough, fair enough. Let's have everybody wait back here. Damus, could you tell this man could to come over here, please? Sir. There you go. Sir. There you go. Come on, sir. There's another man coming, I see that. The other man seems to be pulling back. Okay. Let's get him, boys. Nice block there, Jack. They must swing around. Stab him from the back. Jack, swing around. Stab him from the back. He's blocking everything. Okay, there's another guy coming. He knows. Let's take this man down before the rest of the reinforcements come. there nice nice hits there's a, a bunch more coming let's um let's pull back a bit away from the whole camp just so not everybody really comes over here there you go that's less of them now do attack all nice hits there hot him wow hot him good hit he did go down though how are you uh, kira doing well, we, we pop these fools. Alright, alright, alright. Not so bad, dude. Not so bad, boys. We, we got this. Look at Harem's ridiculous helmet. I love it. Very good, boys. Almost no damage taken as well. Very nice. These guys usually have some uh, good uh, weapons. Not this one, though. Not this one. Actually, in fact, he has nothing useful. Just drifter's boots would be nice, but we're mostly looking for boots that help us run faster at this point. So, none of that. Uh, there shouldn't be that many. That triangle hunter is the only real uh, issue in this town. How? Ooh, there's still two, four, six, eight, ten in total in the camp. And of course, these guys might be waking up. Wake me up inside. Na, 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 na. Let's get that triangle hunter out. Something like that, right? Isn't that the song? Dude, get over here. Just follow me. Follow Damus. Follow Damus. There's like four of them coming. Okay, two of them peeled back. That's acceptable. Alright, boys. Help Damus. Oh, Kira got hit in the back. We got some stabs coming. Okay, there's more of them coming now. But not all of them. Not all of them. Just a couple. We got those boys. As long as they're spread out. Ooh, nice hit there, Jack. Samaya got hit a bit. That's okay. Kira going in there with her polearm. Double hit from Kira, I think. Kira got... Oh, nice, nice hit there, Kira. She got that man down. Harem is blocking. I mean, if anybody sees Harem with that ridiculous helmet of his, they're all gonna be like, what is going on? Samaya's getting hit a bit, but Harem dealing damage, and then Samaya dealing damage now. So that's good. Samaya decided she's not gonna help Harem anymore. She just does not deserve her help. Smack him. Very good. They've been wiped out, apparently. Somebody just ate a human arm. 
Very nice. Good. You see, after all of this, finally, we get a good find. And now we can clear out the last bandit out there. Who's gonna get the last hit? Oh, looks there's one more. Looks like there is one more. Oh, he's gonna get destroyed. Glint, use that huge blade of yours. Good one, Samayo. Good one, Glint. Good one, Damos. Jack and Harem just destroyed the other one. Uh, there's some more fighting in the distance. Okay, now everybody's popping up. Those bandits and starving bandits. You see, I was I was waiting for bandits this whole episode, and now we have everything over here. Triangle, dust, and starving boys. Okay, how much damage did we take? Harem did take some damage. Of course, he's our tank. Samayo, the same. Simo took a bit damage to his leg, so he's a bit slower. And the question is, there's there anything out here? There's some dried fish. There's a ration pack, actually. Oh, let's go, boys. Let's freaking go. Does this uh, backpack stack as well? We'll see soon. Uh, grab that. Yeah, 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 it does. Good, good. Very nice. We could we could sleep in these ones and rest up a bit, but uh, we're not that injured. Let's actually make our way towards that battle out there in the distance. And I think there's a bunch of goats coming. Look at that, these are goat army, boys. These guys would absolutely destroy us if you tried fighting them, by the way. Okay, that's a lot of those bandits. And they're gonna be destroying the starving boys. Yeah, that's probably too many those bandits for us to even look at. So maybe that's a bad idea. But the goats would help us if, if we needed the help. The goats would definitely help us. Yeah, that's a big group. We know what happens. Oh, they just camped over here? Didn't we come down this way? No, actually, we came down this way and then... No, we came... Yeah, we came down this way and then I saw this. And these guys were camped on the other side as well. Yeah, there's too many of them. Even if we pulled just a couple of them back. And we don't really have the ranged weapons to do it. There's another smaller group. Yeah, you see if you could get to that smaller group. Okay, we're sneaking by. And this is just a group of five bandits. Well, there is seven of us. But they're stronger. And we have already been slightly injured. But let's try. We are up on the hill. Let's see if we can uh, defeat them. I kind of doubt it. But let's see. Because uh, some of these guys have like their defense in 40. Yeah, look at that. That guy has 44 defense. Let's see if he can... Oh, we're ganging up on them though. Wow. Okay. Actually, no. That wasn't the 44. This is the 44 guy. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Okay, okay. It helps that we have just better weapons so every time we actually do hit we deal a lot more damage than they would do to us so this is good and hopefully we also have better weapons glint and by better weapons I mean armor glint is taking some damage over there but yeah we're we're getting them boys very good very good 40 damage in there let's go oh there's another group of some things more does bandits out there Maybe they're leaving camp, but there's still a bunch of them on the camp. Samaya did go down. If we don't heal her up, she's gonna be in recovery coma soon. But we're gonna get her. Very good. Just keep on being stealthy. So nobody from the camp sees us. Sees us. And the way station is just... Where's the way station? Further down. Alright, we are mostly healed up, so it's time we wake up and go... Onwards to glory. I was thinking we'll uh, go down here to the settled nomad village and maybe explore Shem a bit. Maybe go to this unknown tower and uh, to this place over here. I've uh, never been to these uh, places before and this is this has been added by a mod so it would be interesting to maybe visit that and I believe also the settled nomad village has been reworked a bit uh, so it's a bit different. There's more buildings and such, so we're gonna go check out there, see if uh, they need some help or something like that with uh, whatever bandit problem they might have, because that's what we're known for, dealing with bandits, right? Right. <laughs> and of course, Harem's absolutely amazing new helmet. It's just, it's just beautiful. 
in time, I have a feeling we'll uh, we'll find proper outfits for everybody. Ooh, another tower. Didn't we discover this one before? I thought we did. No, we discovered the Nomad Village, right? Yeah, that tower over there. That tower is the White Eyebrow Clan. Oh, I, I remember. I talked about it being out there somewhere, but we never got close enough. Okay, fair enough. Now I do remember. Good. Uh, that's a place we could go and try sneaking in, but I think uh, if we get in at any point, they will just aggro on us because they don't want us there. Let them get away. Oh, boy. Uh, Star Bandits. Let's go. We can deal with you. There's seven of us. There is two, four, six, eight, ten. Oh, they have the numbers. We'll see if you can deal with them. Let's try. Damus is using his uh, range. Damus, just go in there, buddy. You will use your range later on if needed. Let's go, boys. I see some red. I don't like the red. Damus is rolling around. We got this. There's people on the ground that do have staves. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, yeah, that's... You guys wanted to get in, huh, on the fight. Hmm. We'll go down, most likely, or certainly. Glint is already out. Wow, Glint's leg got destroyed. An arm. Hmm, Damus, let's get out of the fight with you. Because I'm going to need somebody to get back in here, uh, if need be. Uh, the good thing is, most of these dust bandits ran away. Or passed us by. But fighting two groups at the same time is not good, and there's a bunch more coming. There's big things running out there. Dust bandits fighting band of bones. These guys are following the leader. There's somebody screaming ah out there. I want to see who that is. Oh no, it's Whip. There's a lot of people that can't afford stuff. I don't know where that affording is going on. Ooh, nice hint there, Damus. Even with that shitty weapon of yours, you're doing just fine. Glint is uh, trying to do some crawling in my skin. These wounds, they will not heal. Harem is getting destroyed. A lot of ranged units out there for uh, for these guys. That's that's a leg rolling out there. That's isn't that isn't our leg, is it? I don't think so. We are still up, all but Samayo, but uh, there's a slight problem with that. Okay, Harem is going down as well. Yeah, they just have numbers on us. And you know what? Starving Bandits, we should be fighting the same the same enemy at this point. Seymour is dealing some damage. Kira is not looking too good. Samayo is uh, in the corner over there. Jack, uh, let's have you split up. Jack, go that direction. Glint can't run away. These two guys would be caught as well. Maybe Seema could run away. Did all of the bandits come down? Did just the whole group come down? I don't know where they went. There should be more. But I think they might have gotten down. Yeah, okay. Seema, you split in this direction. And Damus, you split in this direction. Because we're gonna have to come back and uh, heal those that have gone down. So, let's do that. Drop this. Glint, you drop that. Samayo, you drop your backpack. Kira, just drop that. Don't wake up. Just, just go. Okay, Simo, that direction, Jack, that direction, Damus, don't fight them, go in this direction. Okay, Simo and Jack are gonna be fine, I think. You only have one of them chasing, so maybe if they squat up and deal with that guy, it's gonna be fine. Damus, you go up into the hills. 
Kira, just stay down. Glint. Yeah, Matic as well. Okay. Let's see how these two guys can do. Because that, that guy would be tough to outrun. Let's see if we can fight him. Just don't get yourself too injured, okay? I think Damus is gonna be fine. Let's see if he can uh, swing around over here. Let's go that way, dude. Let's see how well Jack and Simo can do versus this Hiver. Doing good so far. Doing good so far. Just gang up on the man. There you go. Ha Jack is doing some solid damage. Ooh, Samaya's getting back up. Don't do that. Stay down. Heal yourself. He's not gonna listen, is he? You stay down as well. Let them fight each other. <sighs> Glint, this was not the time. Would you just stay down? Harem, just stay down, dude. Just stay down. It's not good. You guys got this, right? Damus, he also got this. Um, he can probably go down that direction. Har Harem is gonna get hit. Yep. Glint, you dropped your stuff, right? Yes, he did. He might be bleeding out soon, so that wouldn't be a good idea. These guys are running away. You guys, they're done. Okay, stay here. Stay heal and heal yourself. Heal yourself. Fix yourself up. Okay, Damus. Let's have you go back down. Oh, Jesus, look at these shadows. What's going on? Uh, you guys all dropped your stuff, right? So they don't loot you. Yeah. Okay, now get away from here, you bastards. Just get away from here. So you can come back and heal Glenn before he bleeds. Did she just wake up again? Stop doing that! What is wrong with you? What did they... They steal her heal kit? Well, I don't know. We're just gonna drop this. Stop waking up. What is wrong with you people? Samayo, just stay down. Why? Just why? Just tell me one reason why would you do this. Why the fuck would you do this? Give me one fucking reason. God... Damn it, can she? Just run away. Pull them away. You're fast enough. Namus, you're out there. Come out here, you're gonna heal people. You two, are you healed up? Yes. Okay. Come down here. Samayo, I guess your, uh, your redemption story right now is to just uh, pull everybody away. Because you're fast enough. You can do that. Okay, these guys are all departing. All of them departing. See? I told you, don't go into the goddamn swamps. It's a bad idea. It's a very bad idea. Who are you seen by? Who's out there that sees you? Ah, just these guys. That's fine then. It's completely fine then. They will go fight the dusters. And us, apparently. Oh boy! Go fix Glint. No, you're not getting my food. What is wrong with you? Oh, you piece of fucking shit. Okay, are you still being hunted? Are you still being hunted? I don't think so. No, they departed. Good. Okay, we'll have you go back down there. How are you doing? Doing fine. Whoa, 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 whoa! Stop doing that! No! No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Let's pull them into Garu. 
Yeah, let's have them fight the Garu. Sounds like a good idea. What are you doing over here? Looting the dead? I'm gonna give you looting the dead. Stop that. We're healing the dead. He's, he's fixing Harem. He's gonna be in a recovery coma. Of course he's gonna be. Kira is... Unfortunately also seems like she's gonna be in a recovery coma. She's just minus 14. Her KO point is not that good. Okay, Samayo. Is there a safe place to come back down? I don't know. Come this way. You guys are just departing. Good, they're fighting Gara over there, as I was hoping they would. As I was hoping they would. Good. Good, good, good. Samayo, I think you can... No, you can't safely run down here. Uh, let's go... Let's go here for now and be stealthy. Okay, you're fixing Glint. Kira is in recovery coma, of course, just, just, just about. And of course, he lost, he almost lost a leg as well. We just saved him like in the last second. Amazing. Okay, you guys have stopped running. So that means they stopped chasing as well. Excuse me. Stop that. No, they have not stopped chasing. God damn it, starving bandits. Just two of them though, so pretty sure we can deal with that. Unless you get hit 70. Fuck's sake, loading! God damn swamps. Stop that. Simo. Simo, please. See how Jack is doing. Do like that. Okay. There's still a bunch of these guys fighting out here. Damus, have you fixed everybody? You're still fixing? You're fixing Kira now. But of course you can't pick up everybody and take them out of here. Um, well, fix your leg as well, dude. Now what? Where do we bring them? You have to bring them somewhere away from all this nonsense. So maybe in a corner like over here. And put down the cam beds. Don't do that quite yet, though. We will need to pick up the stuff. Come over here. Hopefully Jack and Seema are gonna do just fine. Grab this... Davis, for fuck's sake. Grab the backpack. Grab the first aid kit. Grab the ninja blade. Where is he going? Why are you... What the fuck? Stop splint rigging. It's really not necessary right now. Please. Pick him up. You can't trade with him, can you? Of course you can't. Well. Give him this. So it's gonna be easier to carry him. There you go. That's fine. Okay. Damus. Do not splint rig. Go up here if he could. Could he? I think uh, I think that's a bad idea. We're gonna go into this corner and let's uh, get rid of these two. We need to we need to rest and save our people over here. So let's get double cam beds down here. And Damus, get over here, dude. Thank you. You guys haven't done, haven't dealt with these guys yet? Okay, that guy is running. Let him be. Help Simo over here. Just destroy this fool. How is Samaya doing? She's still stealthy. She would have to cross around here, but I don't know how. Uh, let's have you go over here. Let's hope she can run that way. Okay, Jack and Simo are doing fine now. Don't you dare run behind after the guy without arms and legs. Fix yourself. Or I guess fix Simo. He's the only one that needs fixing, really. That's the only person. You just keep on flopping around. That's fine. Simo's not that fast right now, but hopefully it will have to do. 
Hmm. Let's, um, let's use water, maybe, to go around. Yes, let's use water. Let's have you go across that, you two. Damus, just uh, run normal speed. Uh, where did I put down those uh, two things? Over here, okay. Build that for me. There you go, there you go. Put him in bed. Let's build that other one. Maybe stealthy. Kieran Glint are the next two. Okay, nice. Yes, you're gonna go Splint Dragon. Just run down here. How are my two swimmers? They're doing their thing. How's Samayo? There, she's doing her thing. Okay, let's go around Samayo. Down this way. And she can make it down. Good. Damus, next you're gonna be picking up uh, my Glint boy. So let's grab his first aid kits. Katana and the Shuriken. Yeah, poor Glint got glinted. <laughs> Uh, let's give this back to him. Let's give him back the two things. And uh, unstealth and run up here. And put him in here. Good. Samayo, at this point I think I can tell you to get over here. And Jack and Seymour are still swimming. Which is okay, I guess. And these guys are still fighting. You guys can do better. Come on. Swim faster. There's a man yelling in the water. It's the crippled guy. Stop running after us. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Okay. You are Splint Dragon Glint, aren't you? Good stuff, Damus. Now, let's go get uh, Kira. We need to get Kira. You guys out? Let's go. Good. Not good. Very much not good. Just go into the water, maybe. Stay in the water. Water's your friend right now. That beaker? Where are you going? Don't be a goddamn medic right now. We need to get out of here real fast before uh, that beaker shows up. So first things first. Grab that. Grab the katana. Grab that. Grab Kira. Give Kira some stuff. It's gonna be important. It's important we save this. Sure, she can have that as well. Before that beaker comes and tries to eat the corpses. Because that's exactly what that beaker is gonna do. Stop sneaking. Run over here. Samayo, come over here. Be sneaky. Um, loot one of Glint's uh, first aid kits and fix yourself. Alright, alright. Glint, you stay sneaky. Davis and Kira are coming. And then we have to get these two guys out. Which shouldn't be that big of a deal. Surprisingly enough, that beaker decided to swim to the other side. And that means Jack and Simo managed to get over here. Whew! Finally, we're all together. We're all safe once again. And uh, this is where we're gonna finish the episode. That was uh, quite uneventful episode. Haram is actually fine, which means he can wake up. And we're gonna put uh, Kira in here to go to bed, because uh, she needs a bunch of healing. Kira, get back in there. She needs a bunch of healing. Uh, Glint over here is gonna be unconscious for a million years still. And looks like there's false scorpions out there fighting now. Yeah, you know, I wanted bandits. We got bandits. And Glint lost his arm because of that. But out there, not next to that nest, but out there, there is uh, a village we might be able to go. Oh, we can actually see it out there, and we could heal there in the next episode. But for now, thank you, everybody, for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this episode. Click the notification bell below if you'd like to see more from me, and I'll see you guys next time. For now, cook her out.